you know, as the events were happening in uh, Paris, what was your reaction? We have people literally in Los Angeles County from everywhere in the world. So whenever there's an incident anywhere else, there's a direct nexus right back here to Los Angeles. What do we need to do here? What do we need to address? Uh, what are the, the voids that we haven't filled yet? There's a perception that there's increasing security leads to less freedom. It's not just a thing between national security and civil liberties, because certainly having you know, order and, and protection is, is a, a big uh, part of that. In this era of the web and everything that goes on, you got to have the ability to track this down, because we know the risk exists. Uh, I do think the American people, if they do want to have these techniques be effective at some point, and this is probably not popular to say these days, but they do have kind of trust people in authority to be uh, you know, weighing these issues and coming out with the correct answer. We have the ability to be able to deal with the, the immediate situation, but as far as policy situations, um, that's something that is, is much more protracted. How, how is technology, specifically the proliferation and the use of cell phone video, uh, changed and impacted law enforcement in the 21st century. Cell phones are really, you know, a two-edged sword. On one hand, uh, they're uh, a means to sometimes get extraordinarily good uh, evidence and leads. Uh, on the other hand, uh, uh, the use of communication devices and the internet in general uh, both allows for transnational conspiracies uh, to exist and operate in a much easier way than they would have uh, previously. For many corporations in this country, cybersecurity is the largest challenge that they are facing. Cyber investigations and cyber issues really are going to be at the core of the national security concerns going forward. We're all sitting here tonight, we could have our life savings ripped off by somebody half a world away without the ability to be able to track them down or to prosecute them if we were able to track them down. When you look at our ability as local, state, or federal law enforcement to be able to focus on dealing with this issue, we don't have anywhere near the resources dedicated to what the problem probably is. You know, what could people do on a personal level to help in the, in the fight uh, against uh, terrorism? I look on it more as a collective uh, enterprise where you know we all are involved as uh, citizens. We need to deal with it now. And will we deal with it now? In my opinion, no. Because it's not right in our face.